Today's video, I am doing apple themed DIYs for early fall or late summer. It's part of a YouTube collaboration with a lot of other wonderful creators and we are either doing apples or sunflowers. So you're going to want to check out the hosts below and also the playlist. Okay, this is my Dora wreath and we're going to change it up for fall. It's part of the reason that I bought this was so that I could change it out. And it's real pretty, but uh, it's been up for quite a while now, so it's time to move to fall. And hopefully I'm going to make it just as nice and not ruin it. <laughs> All right, I have a bunch of stuff here, and some of it is stuff that I've had on hand, like these flowers and these and my ribbons and my pine cones. And then I just picked up these apple picks at Joann's and uh, also this and these here. This one I had, this one came from Target, I think. And then uh, these. So anyways, um, the picks from Joann's are pretty cheap. Um, they're not that expensive. I know Joann's can be expensive, but if you go to the, the section, I think I got these for like $1.39. All right, if you have not already guessed, I am Team Apple. I'm doing the Apple theme today. Okay, I bought four of these Apple picks, but I have a feeling I'm just gonna be using three. Um, it seems like things are grouped better in threes and in odd numbers. Anyway, that's I see that all over here on YouTube, and um, I think it does tend to be true. So I'm gonna put all of these in here, and I prefer, really, if I can, to just stick the picks in, and that's part of the reason that I bought this wreath form, is because I wanted to just be able to put things in and then pull them back out again, and then that way I use as little glue as possible, and I can keep a lot of my pieces intact. And so now you can see that I'm just adding in my other picks here, and I guess, I don't know if these are like they, they seem like they're wheat, but they're different colors. And um, I'm not quite sure if those are wheat or I think that's what they are. <laughs> Anyways, and now I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to put my flowers and what else I want to put on there. And my apples are kind of my um, centerpiece there. And they are offset and I did this last time. And I seem to like to do wreaths like this where they're a little bit offset. And so now I'm just taking some small pine cones and I'm just hot gluing those into the place where I want them. Gotta let that uh, set for a few minutes. I just had this tiny little piece of flower that fell off one of my other stems and I just decided to tuck it in the middle there because it was a little bit, um, kind of, there was a little bit of a hole there. I'm gluing that together and then I am also just going to go ahead and glue this leaf because it's kind of not in the right position that I want it in so I'm just going to glue that down and then you also saw me take the floral wire and kind of maneuver the other picks so that they lay down better. So this first purple flower I was able to get that in with the stem but there's too many stems at this point in one area, so um, what I'm going to end up doing here with the other purple flowers is taking them off the stem and uh, hot gluing them on. So like I said, I try not to hot glue if I can, but if I have to, uh, I'll just go ahead and do it. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just gluing those on. And then I'll be putting the hydrangea uh, flowers on the other side to balance out the ones that are on the left. Oh, actually what I'm trying to do is see if I do want to add that other apple in. And um, I kept playing with it and playing with it. And in the end, I just decided, nope, it, three is good enough. Because I just thought it looked weird and it, it just didn't look right with four. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that in. Now I'm just taking the leftover stems from those flowers and I'm just tucking those in just to fill it out a little bit more 
because I just felt like that gave it a little more fullness. And then I'm just um, putting my wire and tucking it in so that it doesn't scratch my door. So what I did was I went and I hung it on my door and I decided that it still wasn't full enough. So I'm just adding in a couple more of those purple flowers to just fill it out just a little bit more. And then I went and hung it back on the door again. And then I came back and decided that it was really kind of bare in the middle and so I took some burlap and I am hot gluing that across the center but I'm doing it kind of in an offset way and uh, I'm gonna glue that down and I'm gonna hold it in place for just long enough for you know for it to dry and then I have my harvest sign that is um, the galvanized metal sign that came from the Dollar Tree these come in like a three pack and um, I don't know if they have them this year or not but anyways just throwing some hot glue on that and putting it in the center and then I have a harvest wreath. Just want to remind you that today's video is part of a collaboration hosted by these lovely ladies. Be sure to check out their channels below. And the spotlight creator today is Evie from Sweet Little Home. She is the one that they are featuring. You want to check out her channel also. And be sure to check out the playlist for all of the sunflower and apple inspiration for fall. Okay, DIY number two, I am using Mossy Meadow by Folk Art, and this paint is pretty thick. Um, I was surprised at how thick it was when I pulled it out. It's similar to the green that's already on the front of this sign, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint with this. I'd like to remind you that if you are enjoying this video and you would like to see more videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel, but I sure definitely would appreciate a like at the very least and comment below and let me know which of these DIYs you like the best. So I did one coat of paint with this. It was pretty thick. I didn't really need to do two. And um, it, it's not completely covered. You can see there's some spots there that aren't covered. And um, I kind of left it like that because I thought it looked just fine like that. And then I took some scrapbook paper and I'm just sizing the scrapbook paper up because I want it to fit just inside there like a shadow box. And you see that piece on the side there that's kind of sticking up? Um, I did sand that off, I just wanna let you know that. All right, I'm adding on my Mod Podge and we're gonna go ahead and Mod Podge the inside of this and get that all covered. And then I'm gonna stick in my paper here. And I think it matches real nicely. Now this is a printable that I found online so I'm gonna link that below. I just printed it off on my printer and um, I cut it out just kind of in a rectangle there and again mod podging it on top of that to give it kind of a layered look there and then um, just smooth it all out. I actually am pressing down here that actually ended up working pretty well this time. So I have some rope here and I don't can't remember where I got this I don't know if this came from the Dollar Tree or not it came in a two-pack I don't remember anyways I'm kind of laying it all out there just to see how much of it I actually need because I'm gonna go around the inside of it there and then I'm gonna um, trim it to size and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue gun and I'm gonna just go ahead and glue that all the way around. Okay, so this one with your hot glue gun, you definitely do not want to do this without using your finger protectors on this one because you're gonna be pushing pretty hard into those corners to make sure that the string stays straight and is glued right into the corner just exactly where you want it to be. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here. And then I'm just going to, there's a little excess, so I'm going to end up trimming off just a little bit of that excess there and redoing it in the corner there. I, I always feel like it's better to cut off a little more than not have enough, so I just had to jimmy it a little bit there. Okay, and then I took yellow and green bow ribbon and I made myself a bow. And uh, I didn't show that on, la on the camera because I'm not that great at making a bow. And, um, and then I'm using more of that twine to just kind of uh, make the center of that bow there, trying to figure out where I want it. Decide to place it in the center there. And then just clip that off. And then this makes a sweet little sign up there on my shelf. I'm just loving it. There are a couple little holes there I didn't fill in. I don't have spackle on hand right now, but um, anyway, if I had it, I would have filled those in and I need to get some. But anyways, I really like it and I hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the apples and sunflower playlist listed in my description box below and the other hosts. You will not be disappointed. They are all great creators. Have a great day.